Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftlet Gaming, and this is a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial for LOL Chaos Control, and he says, Hey Driftwood, do you know how to make a latent effect on equipment slash passive? I wanted to make a passive that would increase the speed of my healer class when someone in my party is below 40% HP. So LOL Chaos Control, this video is for you, and I'm going to show you guys how to create what I have dubbed the Emergency Staff. So I'll show it to you really quickly. So this emergency staff is um, basically uh, when anybody in the party is below 40% of their max HP, then it's going to activate a passive. Um, and that passive is going to increase the agility of the wielder by 50%. So you would put the staff on your healer, of course. And uh, I'm not using a healer here, but I have awarded my uh, time mage a healing spell just to, for demonstration purposes. Um, so one thing uh, you will have to do for this to work is you're going to have to install a couple plugins. So before we get into all the nitty gritty, let me just show it to you really quickly. And I forgot to get the resurrection items, so hopefully um, we can get somebody under 40% HP without them just dying. Um, we didn't proc the Paragon, so I don't think there'll be a problem with somebody... Um, with somebody dying, it's not gonna happen. Most likely, it's just they're not gonna do enough damage. So, if we kill these things, I'll grab those resurrection items. And then... I've set them all to level one except for a new dude. Okay, there we go, perfect. So, drift, don't kill Drifty. Come on, don't kill Drifty. Sweet. Chicken can take it. Alright. Blue me. Learn to skill. Alright, so now that it's Anubis' turn and he's got the staff, as soon as he takes an action and somebody's under 40% HP, you're going to see a, a status effect uh, right here. So he's attacking and now he's got plus 50% agility because uh, somebody in the party is under 40% of their HP. So now, you'll, um, if we were using a ATB, you can still use this in ATB, um, you would notice that your, H your ATB bar would turn a different color because your status is have increased. But you notice you got to go again because uh, I'm using CTB and that's highly based on agility. So um, the higher the agility, the more turns the person's going to get. So I would imagine that Anubis is going to get probably two or three turns for everybody else's turn. Especially the fact that there's a, bit, a big level difference between them. But that'll give uh, your healer time to use the healing spells. And of course, the healing spell that I've awarded him is a blue mage healing spell that only targets self. So that's uh, not very helpful. But you get the, you get the point. Um, if this was your healer and he had a recover skill, then he'd be able to click it goes again. Multiple turns. So that's a pretty cool um, effect. And uh, now let me show you how to make that um, he the emergency staff. You can call it a healer staff. You don't have to call it that. You call it whatever you want. Um, so basically, you would give it a name. Uh, you create an item, give it a name, a description, uh, an icon, uh, set it on whatever weapon type you you actually like, whatever animation you like. The stats doesn't really matter; it's arbitrary. Um, but you will have to give it a passive state. So before you get started, you're gonna want to download. I'm gonna put a link in the description below where you can get all this stuff. You're gonna need Yanfly's core engine, and you're also going to need Yanfly's auto passive states. So make sure you put your core engine above pretty much every other plugin you have. You're gonna want that at the top. Um, once you've got those two plugins installed, these note tags will work. So before you make your item, or before you finish making your item, you're going to go to your common events, uh, scratch that, you're going to go to states. Um, you're going to make a new state, call it your emergency staff, or healer staff, or healer state, whatever you want, doesn't really matter. But um, you're going to have to give it this note tag. So I've selected remove at the battle end, you don't really have to do that, you can have it passed out of battle. But I don't know how, um, how that's going to help you at all, so you might as well check remove at battle end. Um, parameter, you're going to do um, agility plus 150 or times 150 percent. So you're going to go to params, set this to agility, and keep in mind you can change this to do whatever you really want it to. This is just what I've done. And if you're using ATV or CTV, then agility is one of the most important stats because it's going to affect how many turns you get. So by doing that, you're going to increase your um, agility by a good 50 percent. So here's the, the real meat of the operations and everything you see here before you go crazy and think, oh, Drifty, you're some JavaScript uh, guru. No, I'm not. I didn't write this this code. This code is directly from Yanfly himself. So all credit goes to Yanfly for this amazing code. So uh, I'm going to put a link in the description below to where you can copy pasta this 
super cool code. But if you want to break down and go through it real quick, I'm going to do that super fast since this is the heart of the program anyway. So we're going to open up with custom passive conditions. And with this, you can specify when this uh, state is going to come into play. So you can make it so that the state will only happen when you tell it to happen. So you don't have to understand everything that's going on here, and you can just kind of copy paste it in here. But basically it's setting the condition to false automatically. So when you have the state, it's not active. You have the state, but you don't have the state. But there's conditional statements in here saying if the party's in battle, and um, then we're doing a for statement, we're creating a, a temporary variable, setting that to zero, and then we're incrementing that. Uh, so it's a checking for all party members. Um, we're setting another temporary variable, calling it member. And then we're checking to see if the members are alive because we don't want them to go into, uh, you don't want the, the state to apply if someone's dead. I mean, technically they, they would have below 40% um, of their HP if they were knocked out. But then the state, you don't want it to really apply uh, uh, unless they're alive with under 40% of their HP, just so it doesn't become over, overpowered. But you could get rid of that as well. Um, but honestly, I wouldn't touch the script at all. Just copy paste it in there and leave it how it is because it works and we've had a little bit of trouble trying to get it just finely tuned for all the plugins and everything. So we're gonna say if it, the member, uh, not member, uh, continue. Um, I don't even understand all of the script, but I know it works. <laughs> uh, if the member equals user, continue. If member HP rate, here's where it's checking your HP rate. So if you want it to have like say, when they're under 30% or 25%, then you can adjust edit this number right here. So uh, 0.4 is saying 40% HP remaining. And condition, uh, then it would set the condition to true. And then that would turn on this whole thing and then it would activate emergency, uh, the emergency staff state. So like I said, you don't have to know, make sure you close it off with that. You don't have to know all of this. I'm gonna give you a link in the description below where you can get uh, this and just copy paste it into one of your states. But after you've got your state created, keep uh, take, in, uh, take uh, note, sorry, I can't talk. Take note of the, the number, the location of this state. So right here we've got 161 because we're gonna call using the plugin the auto passes. So now we're gonna create our weapon. You can even put this on our armor if you like to. Um, we're going to create our weapon, and we're going to give it passive state. So we're going to put no tags, capital P on passive, space, capital S on states, colon, and the number of the state you want it to award. Um, you, can give it any, any, you can give it any other special traits that you like. doesn't really matter. Award it any parameters you want. The cost is all up to you. It's all up to you. But uh, that's how you would do it. That's all there is to it, really. Then you award it in-game however you want with a treasure chest or within an event, or you can have them craft it using a crafting system. So there's a million different ways you can uh, use this. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Ganfly, for coming up with this uh, code for this, this, this eval code. Um, thank you guys for being awesome, and we will see you in the next tutorial.